Koichi, congrats on the win. Thank you so much. Did, uh, did that go the way you expected it to go? Did you feel like, you know, this one, the game plan is get this guy to the ground, submit him? Yeah, I was, my, my, strategy, for, for, my strategy for this fight was uh, using my grappling, using my, uh, my cage and, you know, on ground skills. Uh, I was, um, I was planning to finish the fight in two rounds, but not surprised that I finished in the first round. I was, you know, I had a awesome, a great camp, and uh, we just, uh, you know, we just do what we do, and you know, the the whole what we what we did in the whole camp and in the whole year. And actually, I've been working for this moment my entire life, so uh, this is just a result of uh, of all my hard work. Let me ask you an interesting question about that, because I, I hear a lot of you guys say, yeah, I feel like I'll finish him in the second round, or I feel like I'll finish him in the third round. So if you said going into this, you thought the second round was where it would be, is part of your process going into the fight, you know what, I'm going to see how things go for five minutes, and then I will have him figured out, and then getting into that second round, that's when I can click it in? Yeah, um, I mean, anything can happen in the fight. Um, Chokeli, he's, uh, he's a very tough fighter. He never been submitted. He never been knocked out. So um, I was expecting uh, just a little bit more, but, but like I said, uh, everything, anything can happen in, in the fight game. And um, you know, I got lucky to finish in the first round, and, and I'm very happy. So, like you said, I mean, knowing that he hadn't been finished, you still had that level of confidence in what you were able to bring to the table that you thought, yeah, I'll be able to finish this guy, oh, yeah. even though nobody else. Oh has. yeah, 100 percent. Not just for him, but you know, even with. With anyone in the, in the welterweight division, you know we gotta you got to have this kind of confidence because if you don't have it, you you're in, you're in, in the wrong business. This is fight business. This one versus one, toe to toe. Uh, we fight each other to the death. So we got to believe in our skills and and be confident. This is what I do every day. This is for uh, I train and, and work every day. Two in a row now, right? So you feel like you got a little bit of momentum behind you. What kind of uh, you know opportunity are you looking for next coming off of this one? Now that you've got a couple wins in a row, I mean, are you looking for any sort of certain certain type of opponent, any sort of certain name to kind of uh, keep building your way up? Well, um, I will. I'll see where where I'm at in, in the rankings after this fight. Uh, hopefully, in the top ten. Um, you know, I'm, I will look at to to climb climb up the rankings, and um, it's up to Bellator. But um, I, I want to fight the best. This is what uh, me and my team were looking for fight with the best. Uh, I love uh, the match, uh, you know, um, style, a different style versus a different styles. This is a kind of fight that I like, just like uh, we had today. Uh, it was a grappler against a striker. I, I love this kind of fight. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to face a top five guy. And um, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not rushing. I just, uh, I'll be patient. I'm, I'll wait for uh, a good opponent, but um, wish I can fight with uh, with the good opponents to to climb up the rankings. That's what I that's what I wish. A, a lot of you guys always are very humble, and you say, yeah, I don't, I don't, not looking to call anybody out." Do you ever feel like if you did drop a name out there, that, that maybe it fast tracks you up up the ladder a little bit? Yeah, uh, or are I'll you be, just not? Is that never going to be your style? I'll be I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm not I'm not going to call anybody because. Uh, I'm nobody in, in the welterweight division yet. I'm just uh, I just made my debut. Uh, I don't know the uh, the, the rankings. Um, you know, I, I know there's a lot of good and tough guys in the welterweight division. Um, I will call everybody that wants to fight me and everybody that is a good fight for me. So uh, yeah, I'll be honest. Um, I'm just looking for the, a good fight. It's not a you know I'm exactly a, a name to call in out. Thank you. We have a question from the Zoom, Darren. Thank you very much and congratulations on your victory. Thank you. As you mentioned, you're kind of waiting to see where the rankings shape up and what's next. What do you do between now and then with the rankings coming out? Uh, I'll, I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Um, I, I feel that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm coming for my prime. I'm always, I always thought that, I'm, you know, my prime would come with 20, Four, 25 years old, I was wrong. I think I'm not even my prime. I will, you know, start like now with 29, 30 years old. So, like I said, I will be patient and uh, wait for, for, for good fights, keep learning, not just keep training, you know. 
I will keep learning because this is, uh, for me, this is the most important part of the game, improving uh, my techniques and uh, my mental abilities. So uh, that's my focus now. Jay. Thanks very much, and uh, Guidi, congrats on the win tonight. Just Thank curious, you. how did you feel as a welterweight? Because, I mean, you've been a featherweight, you've been a lightweight, you've come all the way up now. I know it was a relatively short fight, but how did you feel at 170? I feel great. I feel um, much better, actually. Um, I think it's, you know, for me, I'm a grappler, so um, it's important for, for, for me, for for a, a type of guy that I, that I am to, to have a, a good muscles to to play in the you know in the ground i can't grapple without muscles that that's uh that's a rule uh, if you want to grapple in mma or in a grappling match you have to lifting weights you have to have muscles it's different than a striking game you know striking game you don't need much muscles not in my division you just need to be quick and fast but uh when we talk about grappling yeah um this uh 15 pounds made a lot of difference so uh, i feel great i feel confident i feel happy and ready to finish everybody in this division